Na 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 na, this is crazy. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to take a look at Snowflake. Um, this IPO started trading yesterday. And um, in the previous video that I did prior to uh, that IPO, I told you guys that I was all in. Um, I wanted to buy these from, you know, from the get go. Uh, but man, I gotta confess, uh, the price that was you know, initially started with at $110 um, before the IPO actually started trading, uh, the price was up to $270 which was way too much for my comfort. So, but before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So these IPO, um, Snowflake IPO started trading at the NASDAQ um, and I looked at it, I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what is going on here? Um, I mean, they um, initially when they filed to go public, they had put their price, you know, their price per share at about $85. And then uh, less than 24 hours um, to the IPO actually started trading um, on the NASDAQ, they amended their um, um, S1 filing and, ch and changed the price to um, $110. That's about a 30% increase. And that is just based on demand, based on uh, speculation, how people were talking about it. And then by the time the IPO actually opened up and started trading, um, it was $270, which I'm like, whoa, this is way too much for my comfort. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna pull the trigger on this one. And you guys know, um, like I said, I, I talked about it, and I was super excited about it. Um, but at that price, I was just you know, not gonna do it. So I said, I'm gonna wait for a pullback uh, before I'll get in because, um, at that price, you know this excitement is gonna go up fast. If you day trade it, if you can go in and out, that's cool. But if you wanna buy it and hold it, uh, you have to wait for a pullback. Uh, we have the presidential election coming up. Um, there's other factors that can potentially push this stock to do a pullback. But all of that didn't have to happen before. Just yesterday, immediately after going and hitting $319 for a high, this stock pulled back all the way to like $230. So it's like, what is going on here? So if you had bought it at that um, initial price when it popped out of the gate at 270, it was down almost $40 already in less than an hour of trading. Um, so the, again, this is, this is a situation where uh, the institutional traders make a ton of money and me and you that are just average people go in and lose money because they're the ones that were buying this the ipo even before it started trading they were the one pushing up that price so as soon as they the, the ipo gets starts trading like that they are just waiting for you and me to buy at that price and they're taking their profit as soon as they start taking the profit that's when you see the price uh dropping down significantly um and, and as of right now the price is under um 200 and I think 220 something dollars. So this is from a high of 319 straight out of the gate. So so you're telling a company that went from uh, maybe about um, a, a 30 billion dollar valuation to trading at about uh, 50 or 60 billion dollars and then pull back to like, I don't know, 40 billion. Man, that is so much of a swing. Um, and that's the thing that we've seen with these tech stocks. So um, here's my take, uh, wait for a great opportunity to get in. The market is there and the market is not gonna go away. Me and you would come and go, but the market will stay. So um, if you keep rushing and getting in, that's where you get burned. Uh, if you bought at 270, then you're gonna have to sit there right now and just listen to cricket all day until this thing finds a way to bounce back and get back to getting you even and they're hoping that you would make more, it would get some growth. I know the stock is gonna grow, um, but do you want to wait and sit there for that growth or do you want to buy at the bottom and then watch that growth? That's something that I um, I wanted to talk about it because I said I was going to buy this, um, but again, I didn't buy it. And that's such a confession and I want to kind of let you guys know that um, yes, I didn't follow through because um, my price um, target was 110, but it went up to 270 to open up. That is way too much risk and I wasn't ready to do that. Um, as you can see, the numbers right now, 
um, just are in my favor. So uh, that is something I just want to talk to you guys. So be very, very careful. Again, um, we've seen some pullback, and so just keep, just wait, um, wait until it pulls back to the point where you feel comfortable. Don't rush it. Um, you're thinking you're going to miss out. FOMO is one of the reasons why a lot of people lose money or you go into a trade and then sit there and wait for two, three months before you can even get, uh, break even. So um, don't let the fear of missing out get you. Just be patient. If you have your money, hang on to that money and wait for the right opportunity to jump right in. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys about this. Um, let me know in the comment section, did you buy Snowflake at the IPO price or uh, did you say that was too expensive for you? And if you bought it, what is your game plan? Are you going to sit and wait uh, for the long run or are you going to cut your losses and, and, and get out? So, hey, let me know in the comment section again. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, um, right now, Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get one free stock and also you get access to level 2 data which helps you uh, with day trading. So level 2 data gives you access to the bid and the ask of a stock so you can make a decision when to get in and when to get out from, from a stock. So definitely uh, check them out, links in the description below and as always guys, stay motivated.